Today we're gonna to take this homemade heart-shaped stone and cover it in metallic pearl paint. So it's a metallic white paint, it's really pretty. I'll put a link in the description for the video that I have outlining the process of making your own stones if you're interested in that. The one thing that I wish I would have done before I started is used my spackle trick to fill in some of the air bubble holes that you can see on this stone, but that's okay. Moving on, I'm gonna use this green Thule Art paint pen to draw on three holly leaves on the side of the heart. Now if you don't have a heart shaped rock, if you don't make your own stones, you could still do this design on a regular rock and just draw the heart and fill it in with whatever color paint you choose to do. In the next step, I'm gonna take my Sakura Pigma fine line brush pen and add some detail to the holly leaves. So this is not an outline. You'll see when it gets up close that it's not necessarily perfect. It's just kind of free flowing lines. I stumbled across a red Posca PC1MR paint pen that I had not used yet. So I'm gonna use that to do part of my writing. I'm starting out by writing holly in the middle of the rock and then just kind of thickening up all the letters and then I'm going to come back through and add little notches on all of the ends of the letters. Now I'm going to circle back with a black PC1MR paint pen and add some faux calligraphy. I'm going to add happy and days in script and then I'm going to thicken up all of the down strokes on these letters to give them a little dimension. And of course, we need a few berries for the holly leaves, and this is a glossy paint, so it gets kind of that pointy thing in the middle, so I had to work to kind of get that to relax down so that each berry didn't have a little point. And I wanna add a little bit of sparkle to the stone in addition to the metallic background, so I'm gonna add some extreme hologram glitter paint to the word holly and then in on the holly leaves, just to give it a little extra bling. I feel like I've been letting my sparkle down lately, so gotta get a little in there. And now I'm going to come back to that Sakura Pigma brush pen to add kind of a rustic finish to this, kind of creating that raffia look. So I like this pen for this because it bends like a paintbrush and this doesn't have to be perfect. So that's one of the nice things is you just kind of draw loose lines and make it look like raffia and it gives it this cute rustic look. We need one last little bit of sparkle on those berries. So I'm adding some red glitter paint to make them really pop. And it actually gave them some texture between the glossy paint and the glitter paint. It made them kind of stick up like real berries, which was kind of cool. I really want that word holly to pop even though it's got glitter paint on it already. So I'm gonna take this Uni Pin Fine Liner pen and just add a very slight shadow to that word. And here you can see those textured sparkly berries, sparkly leaves, and sparkly holly for a very cute kindness rock to leave in the community. Thanks so much for stopping by to watch the fourth day of Rocksmiths. I've got the fifth day all set up for you here. Don't forget to watch it next. Happy holidays to you, and I'll see you next time. Take care. <music>